Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Breakdown. Easy archetypes to learn. Okay, so let's talk about an easy archetype to learn that teaches you as a new player tribute summoning and all its intricacies and all the ways to tribute summon, quick play and all those manners of things. That archetype, as you can see in front of you, is Monarchs. Facts. You can get the Monarch structure deck quite cheap. And if you just want to learn the basics of Yu-Gi-Oh, the quick and simple interactions, and just get a wholesome view of the game itself to learn the basics of what you need, how to play the game, and timing and everything, Monarchs is the deck to, to go to. And I definitely recommend Monarchs for beginners or anyone to get familiar with themselves with Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay. Now, we start with the first mechanic in the extra deck, Fusion Summoning. Indeed, what is the best archetype to learn Fusion Summoning from? What is the archetype that teaches you how to Fusion Summon in an effective way and in an easy way? Well, that archetype, as you can see in front of you, is Elemental Heroes. With, as you can see, in front of you, Elemental Hero Blazeman, this is the deck that is self-explanatory. It breaks down fusion summoning into easy, digestible chunks so that you can understand. Every card in the archetype of Elemental Heroes involves fusion summoning. Breaks it down to easy steps that you can play, you can digest, and you can know how to play the game, especially learning how to fusion summon. Makes it very simple, very easy. And I always say, if you want to learn fusion summoning in Yu-Gi-Oh, Heroes is the definitive best deck to be learning fusion summoning from. That's all I've got to say. Let's move on to other summoning mechanics and the other archetypes that are good for teaching those mechanics. The next mechanic you can see here is XYZ summoning. XYZs are those black monsters that you know in Yu-Gi-Oh. Anyways, one of the, I think, and I will say this, the best archetype to learn XYZ summoning from is Satellanites. Indeed, when it comes to Satellanites, it teaches you the basics of how to XYZ summon. It breaks it down to simple, easy steps. And also Satellanites is one of those archetypes as well that teaches you high, high level concepts of Yu-Gi-Oh, high level play in a simple, an easy to digest way. So I also recommend it for anyone who's new to Yu-Gi-Oh as well, for not just for learning XYZ, but for some high level concepts as Satellite teaches you how to get the timing right in Yu-Gi-Oh. Timing is a thing that is taught with monarchs obviously, but the high level intricacies of timing, the high level uh, strategies in Yu-Gi-Oh, are explained with Satellanites and their overall play style. The more you play Satellanites, the more you understand them, the more you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh master. Indeed, Satellanites, I would say, is one of the best decks in Yu-Gi-Oh to learn this game for all its complicated things that you have to learn from. This is a deck that is not only the best deck to teach you XYZ summoning, but the best deck to teach you about high level concepts in Yu-Gi-Oh! in an easy to understand way. So it has double recommendations from me for anyone who's new to the game. Pick up Satellanites to not just learn XYZ summoning, but to learn high level concepts of Yu-Gi-Oh! in an easy and satisfying way. Let's move on. Okay, and we have here Synchro Summoning. Indeed, Synchro Summoning, what is the archetype or series of cards that are great in teaching Synchro Summoning? I would say the Synchron, as you can see here with Junk Synchron and Cubot Hedgehog. But in generally, any card that says Synchron on it in Yu-Gi-Oh are fantastic in teaching you how to Synchro Summon in Yu-Gi-Oh. These Synchron cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, let's call them the Synchron Archetype. Every card that has Synchron in it, in its card text or in its card name, are fantastic cards that teach you how to Synchro Summon. They all have inbuilt and simple worded effects that teach you how to Synchro Summon, teach you the fundamentals, and go over a step further. 
Synchro summoning is generally easy to learn when you use the Synchron archetype. The moment you've used the Synchron archetype, you will have a familiarity with Synchro summoning as a whole, and it'll become much, much easier for you as a new player to understand Synchro summoning. Remember, when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh, it's always about the archetype that you choose that will teach you the corresponding mechanic. And if we review back, the best archetype that will teach you fusion summoning, as I've said before, is elemental heroes. The best archetype that will teach you high level concepts of Yu-Gi-Oh in, in a clear and instructive way is the Telonites. And now, as you can, we can see here, the best archetype to teach you synchro summoning is indeed the synchron archetype with cards such as Junk Synchron. And that's all I've got to say. Let's move on to the next mechanic. Okay, and we have Ignites. Ignites are here, are one of the best archetypes to teach you the whole mechanic of Pendulum Summoning. Let's read that Pendulum Scale effect. If you have an Ignite card in, uh, in your other Pendulum Zone, you can destroy both cards in your Pendulum Zones. And if you do, add one Fire Warrior type monster from your deck to your hand, or Graveyard to your hand. That simple line of text is on every single pe uh, Ignite Pendulum card. What this means is with your height you will use, you can just activate these two cards in scale, destroy them with their own effect, and then add a Pendulum monster with a high scale, being, allowing you to be able to Pendulum Summon with the greatest of ease. Ignites are fully designed with the capability of allowing you to Pendulum Summon with the greatest of ease. Being able to just access your Pendulum Scales extremely quickly, extremely proficiently. This is the archetype that will teach you how to Pendulum Summon in the easiest way possible. Grab yourself a, a Ignite Pendulum Deck today if you want to learn the intricacies of Pendulum Summoning. It simplifies Pendulum Summoning to such a point that it makes it very easy to understand and to play. There is no other, I repeat, there is no other pendulum archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh that simplifies pendulum summoning to this level. Only Ignites do so. So bear that in mind. The best archetype to be learning pendulum summoning from is Ignites. Grab yourself some Ignites today if you want to learn how to pendulum summon, especially if you're a new player. Let's move on to the last extra deck mechanic that you, that, and archetype that helps you to fulfill that mechanic. And our last mechanic, Link Summoning. So what is the best archetype that will teach you Link Summoning? Well, as you can see in front of you, it is Salamangrate. When it comes to Link Summoning, the archetype that will teach you the best way to link summon is Salaman Great. Let me put it this way. Salaman Great is such a good deck on release at the time that it was banned, right? On release, it was a structure deck staple. This and the Monarch and the Monarch structure deck are the only two decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! history that on their time of release were limited. The deck was that easy to pilot, anyone could pilot it. We had, it was running rampant in the scenes at the time. Salomon grades are so easy to pick up, so easy to play. Their um, archetypes, the archetypes play style speaks for itself in simplifying the link mechanic in such a simple and easy way. In fact, I've seen so many people, I've seen kids play this deck. I've seen five-year-olds play this deck. Most five-year-olds, most newcomers in Yu-Gi-Oh! in fact, play our Salaman grades for their ease of access in teaching you high-level concepts and everything. So, I repeat once again, the best archetype to learn Link Summoning from is Salaman grades. And I think that's all I've got to say here. That's it, really. And so in this video, I've talked about the archetypes that are best for learning the corresponding mechanics. 
Um, I don't mention ritual summoning because ritual summoning, it's a little bit different. Is there the is there an archetype that's really good to learn ritual summoning from? I would say it's the Bloodluster Soldier archetype. That's a really good archetype to be learning ritual summoning from. With that being said, follow these instructions. If you're a new player or someone who's new to Yu-Gi-Oh, get these archetypes to learn the correspond corresponding extra deck mechanic as they will teach you the fundamentals and basics of Yu-Gi-Oh. These archetypes are cheap, readily available, and are not that expensive. Once you have mastered each of these particular archetypes, then and only then can you call yourself a Yu-Gi-Oh master, because at that stage you will know intimately every single summon mechanic, you will know how it works, you will know how they function, and you will know you will not be overwhelmed when you hear certain terminologies in Yu-Gi-Oh. It is only by learning everything that we become a master. Okay, that's all I've got to say about this matter. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! master. My faith, right, is in your hands.